If you flip the club through impact, you'll know that that results in poor contact and a loss in distance. You've likely tried everything to try and eliminate your flip, but to no avail. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you a very simple drill using a tennis ball that's gonna train optimal wrist angles and body rotation through impact to eliminate that flip for good. So we know we're looking to achieve some shaft lean at impact. That's having the hands ahead of the ball. In fact, in every single good player's swing, you'll see that there is more bend in the trail wrist at impact than there is at setup. That's an important point to note. There's more trail wrist extension, there's more bending back of this trail wrist at impact than there is at setup. So in order to facilitate that, it isn't simply a case of bending your wrist back more. You need to be able to time that with the appropriate body rotation and the body motion. And that's the thing that so many of you get wrong. You're trying to just shove the shaft forward to help you get some shaft lean, but if your body isn't moving correctly, you'll never be able to achieve it. So I want you to grab a tennis ball and I want you to go through this exercise with me. The tennis ball in your trail hand, the trail wrist, right wrist for a right-handed golfer. And first of all, I want you to understand how this trail wrist moves in the swing. We've touched on it previously in other wrist videos. This trail wrist in the backswing extends or bends backwards to the maximum point where it's somewhere in the downswing, about halfway down, the wrist is at its most bent. And then as it's coming towards the ball, this wrist is uncocking or releasing, if you like, slightly. But as I just mentioned, all good players have more bend in their trail wrist at impact than they did at setup. The drill I'm gonna show you involves this tennis ball is gonna ask you to stand in your golf posture, hold the tennis ball like you would do in your golf grip, if you like, your golf posture, and you're going to swing back, swing down, and throw the ball in front of you. Bounce the ball off the ground just in front of the mat here, looking for a couple of things to happen driving and throwing the ball down with some force and bouncing it into the screen, in my case, into the screen in front of me. You might be outside on the driving range doing this, but bounce it into the wall or the screen and have it come back towards me. I'm looking for the direction of this ball to also be relatively straight. And what that's going to do, as I have the intention of pushing or throwing down into the ground, it's gonna encourage me to delay the release or the flip of this wrist. If I was to flip my wrist prematurely, instead of throwing the ball down towards the ground, it would go up into the air, which we certainly wouldn't want. So this concept should be very intuitive. The fact we want to hit down, we want to throw the ball down into the ground, it's going to help me to maintain trail wrist bend for longer. But if I was only to keep trail wrist bend with poor body mechanics and just push or throw this ball down into the ground, the likelihood is with a golf swing, I'd actually throw the ball off to the right because I'm not implementing or utilizing my body rotation effectively. So I'm gonna throw one into the screen and we'll get into this, but that's just the basic description of how this can help. Throw the ball down into the ground and throw it straight out down the target line. So that was nicely thrown in front of me. The ball's gone slightly to the right. My intention is really to project the energy and the force down into this space just in front of me. As I do that, I certainly feel like this trail arm and wrist is staying more flexed, which again, you would see among the best players. That's what good players are doing. And then with the trail arm and wrist bent correctly, I'm forced to start to move my body in a way that allows me to line this up and allow me to throw this thing as straight as possible. So that the error here typically for most people would be to not turn the body sufficiently and throw the ball out to the right. That error would be consistent with what most of you are doing in your swing, which is not using your body rotation and movement of your body correctly. And as a result, in the downswing, you're finding that the flip is forced upon you because you need to do something to square the club face. So if I don't move my body correctly and I just try to throw or drive this ball down in front of me, no turn throws the ball more to the, to the right. That's gonna be an, a mistake 
that many of you make when you try this drill. That's going to highlight to you the potential benefits of this if you can incorporate the bounce of the ball and the, the straight direction of the ball, those two things combined means that you're doing this correctly. One more time, hold the wrist back, throw the ball into the ground and really focusing on this space out in front of me. You can also adjust the directional component of this intention. You can think even more about swinging, not just down towards the ground, but slightly to the left. That helps you to increase the amount of body rotation that you need to have at impact. Again, pretty good, slightly to the right of the line, but that feels quite nice to me. So that's the basic premise of this exercise, giving you the sense of what you're trying to feel in that right arm, right hand and right wrist, and how that would also combine with how you move your body to achieve that perfect impact. And if you wanna take that same trail wrist concept and incorporate it into your swing, there's a wonderful training aid out there that I'm a big fan of called the Precision Impact Training Aid. This is one I've featured on the old channel many times before. And it's one that I know many of you have picked up on and enjoyed using. This device attaches to your trail arm via a couple of comfortable elastic straps and it sits on the back of your forearm with your fingers, your index finger and middle finger going through these two slots. And the, the genius thing about this product is as you move it back, you're able to receive auditory feedback as the wrist clicks or the device clicks as the wrist moves into extension and then because of this locking mechanism at the top the wrist has to stay there i can't move the wrist back in the opposite direction so this helps you to build the feeling of loading the wrist with that extension in the backswing the bending back of the wrist and then it helps you to feel the continuing bending back of the wrist in the downswing. As we already stated, good players have more wrist extension at impact than they did when they started. This device is helping you to feel that sensation. And with this amount of extension in your trail wrist when you hit the ball, you're gonna to need to also incorporate the rotation that we talked about earlier with the tennis ball drill. This thing's really, really good. Every time I hit with it, I, I experience far better ball striking than my regular swing. Um, I've joked before about wanting to play golf with this thing on. This is a great device if you're really looking to improve your ball striking. And the other thing I particularly like about this product is how the wrist is able to move up and down, radial and ulnar deviation. We've spoken about this before because the wrist does move in this plane of motion throughout the swing, but you're able to move the wrist up and down without sacrificing the bending back part. So this is what we're trying to get to at impact. Shaft lean with the trail wrist bent and the body sufficiently rotated to be able to help me compress this golf ball. I always love hitting with this thing on. It gives me a different sense, even in my swing of the release particularly. And I'll definitely do a video on how this helps the release and the pattern of the follow through shortly. But today we're talking about impact, the wrist being in extension still when you hit the ball. And you can see at the end of my swing here, I've, my wrist has had to stay bent backwards, all right? This doesn't release unless I manually release it with this, with this piece at the end here. So the wrist stayed in bend, my shot was very straight, 150 yards, I'm hitting an eight iron here. So you can see that you can get pretty close to full distance out of this exercise as well. And that's something that you should think about because so many of the drills that you've probably tried in, in order to incorporate more shaft lean or reduce your flipping would have to be done at slow speed. And I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I think there's a number of times that slow speed drills and swings are not only useful, they're necessary, okay? But transitioning from shorter, slower, punch drills and feels into something that more accurately represents your full swing can often be challenging. So if you can find something like the Precision Impact device that allows you to get up to full speed really quickly while still helping you to train the necessary and desirable wrist bends and body motion that you're looking for, then I think that's a great thing. Let's hit one more. We're going to go back. During the backswing, you'll hear that gradual progressive clicking of the device as the wrist, wrist moves into that extension or bent back condition. And then as I come down, there'll be no release of that. The feel 
for so many of you is zero release ever. Of course the club is releasing. Uh, the maximum point of that bend back is around halfway down in the, in the downswing. All players, even the best ones, are releasing this club slightly, but the best ones delay that release. That's exactly what this piece of equipment helps you to understand. Delay the release with the wrist and then learn to move the body in order to coordinate those two pieces. So one more time, it's going to release this again back to standard setup. Small amount of extension in the trail wrist at setup. About 10 to 15 degrees would be pretty standard. Then by the time we get to the top, I've added at least 40, sometimes 50 more degrees of that bending backwards into the wrist. So now I'm loaded, completely ready to go. Come down, hit the ball, and then hold my finish. The, the follow through part I really love, as I've already touched on this. It makes such a difference to my mechanics and my pattern, the way that I typically swing. I really love how this helps with the release of the club as well, which as I say, I'll get to in a future video. Let's go ahead and hit one more. Once again, <laughs> I wish I could play with this thing on. It feels really solid, tiny little overdraw there, not much, the strike was good, the distance is about the same. I like this uh, training aid for helping golfers because it, it creates the desirable feels and positions that are so hard to replicate without something like this. The concept you probably grasped, you understand that you're supposed to lean the shaft forward, you understand that you're supposed to hit down, you understand that you're trying and wanting to compress the ball. All of those things are great if you think you know them, but how to, how to do them is the piece that matters. So if you're looking to really train good wrist angles and body motion at the same time, and be able to do that whilst hitting balls and swinging full, you should consider picking yourself up one of these. So back to the original concept and exercise for today. Tennis ball, swing back. That's exactly how you would move your wrist naturally if you were trying to throw this tennis ball into the ground as described before. Bend the wrist back, then turn down and through. And because I can't release this wrist and flip, I need to move my body in order to direct this ball towards the center of the screen. Really, really good feel. The bend in the arm, the bend in the wrist, and then the movement of the body to really cover and compress the golf ball. It's a little closer look at how this fits onto your hand. You've got the two finger slots here. One of the other pieces inside the bag you get is some firmer finger straps designed to help you with short game practice. And again, future videos will cover how the precision impact can help you with your short game. But the bit I really love is how the wrist can move up and down independent of moving backwards and forwards. And I think that's what sets this apart from anything else like this I've ever tried. And believe me, I've seen a few people try to get this right. The fact that you can move the wrist back into that extension, keep it there, but still move the wrist through this up and down piece is critical because the wrist moves up and down throughout the swing. We have more downward bend when we hit the ball. And then in the follow through, we use the upward hinging to slow the club down. So very clever, very useful product, something that should help you improve your ball striking and your overall distance. If you're interested in picking one of these up, there's a code down in the description. Click on the link, use the code GRIDLIFE. You'll get yourself $20 off one of these and you can start improving your ball striking immediately. So I hope that the subject of shaft leaner impact and how to achieve it is a little less confusing after watching this video. The tennis ball drill is something you can get up out of your chair and start doing right now. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you think. I would imagine many of you would struggle with it to begin with, but because it's quite natural and intuitive, it's something that I think you can see good results with very, very quickly. And as mentioned, if you wanna take your ball striking and your distance to another level, adding the precision impact training aid to your practice regime will likely help you to do just that. I forgot to mention previously that it's now available for you Southpaws out there. I know last time I made a video on this, there was many comments about 
Is it available for left-handers? The answer at that time was no. I'm happy to say that the answer now is yes. So get yourself down into the description, the link's there to take you to the website. Use the code GRIDLIFE to get yourself $20 off the Precision Impact. And if you'd like to continue your journey on understanding the wrists and how they work in the swing, go and watch this video next, which talks about just that subject, the wrists and how they work throughout the entire golf swing.